you originally came across C60 because you were studying how to uh, deal with radiation, high levels of radiation, yeah. right? Yeah, we were doing the metal oxygen fusion reactor project, and a lot of doctors had, you know, late doctor this, the dead professor that, and uh, so I wanted to that. So I wanted to get like a protection for my crew and myself. They had families, right? So I discovered this thing called uh, C60. You know, I told you a story about the rats there. And so I got it for my crew and myself. And then I kept using it even after the experiment was over because I got better mental clarity, you know, focus. And then you get the like the afternoon blahs, like two o'clock after yeah. you, like, you go to the Chinese restaurant, you know, you get that glucose crash. I, that kind of went away. And uh, but the real thing happened. I went seven months after I went into the uh, after I started using C60, I went to my eye doctor and my druse or dry macular degeneration had completely disappeared. Wow. And uh, yeah, and then later I, I made a concoction of C60 and MCT oil. And if people don't know, MCT stands for medium chain triglycerides. It's an ex extract of coconut oil. And uh, it's turned to ketones by your liver very quickly. And uh, my friend Gary Rodriguez, he had developed wet macular degeneration. Rodriguez, type 2 diabetes, kind of runs in the family. And uh, so not only did this uh, one tablespoon a day of MCT, C60 and MCT oil got rid of his macular degeneration, mm. it took his uh, type 2 diabetes subclinical. Wow. So macular degeneration is considered an incurable disease in, in you know, Western medicine. You know, people just don't get better, you know, just, just yeah. by, you know, taking something. So what do you think the mechanism was? Obviously, we've talked a lot about kind of the nitty gritty science. Let's break down that mechanism and why you think the C60 uh, had such a potent effect and allowed the body to heal and regenerate, uh, you know, the macular centers in the eye. Well, first off, the retina, where macular degeneration occurs, is part of the brain. It's a nerve cell. And nerve cells have the highest number of mitochondria in the body. They have like hundreds or thousands of mitochondria in them. And so, uh, you know, the brain's 2% the body weight, uses 20% the energy. So it's probably the re the functioning of mitochondria. The C60 went in there, the mitochondria started functioning at a higher level. They're making ATP. When you got ATP, that means, you know, you can make, uh, you can make the neurotransmitters, then you can upload the neurotransmitters back and forth. You got energy to move the, the, the electrical charges down the nerves. Uh, it just basically restarted the to restarted the the nerve cell to do the jobs it used to do. Took care of the oxidative burden that was damaging it, and then the body healed itself. So basically, in the retina and the nerve centers in the eye, you had damaged uh, senescent mitochondria that were producing very little ATP, not enough ATP to for really good function, and they were rusting out. These were were they're, yeah. they're sputtering out inflammatory compounds not functioning well. And so taking the C60 upregulated that those oxidative or the antioxidant defense systems and allowed now the, the, the mitochondria to produce more ATP. And as they were able to produce more ATP, those, those nerves and uh, those cells started to function better and good function came back. And as a whole, when the whole system started to function better, now the vision dramatically improved. Yes, that appears to be the, the cause. And, you know, remember the, the nerve cells, unlike other cells, they can't really repair uh, like damaged proteins and everything. They have to dump them into the bloodstream every night. That's why you sleep so that all that garbage is dumped out of your, your brain and it's taken care of elsewhere because there's just so much of it. And so if, you, if that process gets damaged, uh, you can't dump the trash. It just builds up in the nerve cells and pretty soon they can't function. So that's, that's kind of what we think happened. And that's the first thing people notice better mental clarity, the brain fog goes away. And uh, and so that's also, and there probably was a little bit too with uh, the C60, or mitochondria also make pregnenolone, the precursor molecule for all the hormones. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have your your, your precursor molecule, pregnenolone, you know, your, your hormones aren't getting uh, built. And especially today's world, a lot of people are under stress. And so the pregnenolone that's being made might just be going to make cortisol or other stress hormones. Mm -hmm. And there's not enough left over for the androgens, the mineral corticoids, the glutocorticoids, or serotonin, or whatever else it is that uh, that needs to be built. So once you raise your uh, pregnenolone levels, then you can get those hormones. And then there's a lot of master hormones in the brain that uh, that that are super critical for its function. So that probably helped a little too. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Now, what are some of the other results that you guys are seeing using C60? Well, one of the main interesting ones we found was uh, it, it goes back to those, some of those senescent cells is uh, they did a study with rabbits. They gave rabbits arthritis in their joints. 
And then, of course, they injected uh, C60. And I'm not surprised in these C60 being anti-inflammatory. The inflammation in the joints went down. But when they actually examined the rabbit's joints, they found that the cartilage had regrown. So they'd literally regrown mm. their joints. And then that went on to basically they discovered a process is, uh, you know, we have what we call senescent cells in our body or zombie cells. And they're usually it's because their DNA is damaged and they can't really reproduce anymore, but the cell doesn't want to die. So it goes back into what's called a fermentation mode, which is like a primitive mode, uh, you know, archaic mode of cell types before, you know, we became multicellular organisms. Cancer also does that. And uh, so basically the, the cell stops producing antioxidants and that supply the mitochondria. So the mitochondria have to go into fermentation mode too and go back to being like bacteria. Well, when you take C60, C60 restarts the Krebs cycle, the ATP production in the mitochondria. And because the mitochondria have their own DNA, they send messages to the nuclear DNA, the main DNA of the cell, and they will not get the right messages back. And so when that happens, they, uh, they, they basically self-destruct and cause apoptosis or programmed cell death. So what it appeared to be happening was that uh, the, when you take a lot of C60, the, uh, the senescent cells are being wiped out in your body, the zombie cells, because they're also poisoning the cells next to them. Mm. Fermentation yeah. produces alcohols and other nasties, which are poisoning you know, everything around you. So it wipes out those senescent cells. And then the cell of the body tissue sends out messages, say, hey, we need more replacements. Well, that comes from stem cells. So people have a stem cell, great increase in stem cell 